Good morning. Welcome to Bowtie Life. And uh, we talk mostly about gardening, sometimes about life. Well, this is one of those sometimes about life type videos. And um, well, truth be told, I suffer from toenail fungus. And I've repeatedly had it throughout my life. And years and years ago, I learned a little something that uh, really affected me. And um, over the past century of, of human history, we've moved away from a lot of the very natural cures for things like nail fungus and have moved on to uh, medications and other things. And frankly, we all know the side effects. If you've, if you've seen a single one of those commercials, you know there's side effects to some of those things. But I wanted to show you what I have successfully used over and over to get rid of toenail fungus. And um, now, now toenail fungus, uh, in fact, there's a commercial out right now that says it, uh, it won't go away on its own, which we know. Uh, it's also contagious, which means you can transfer it to someone else. And <clears throat> it needs to be treated. And yes, it needs to be treated, but you really don't have to use medications. And there is a very simple method here I'm about to show you to cure toenail fungus. Now, one thing about your toenails, think about how slow they grow. When the toenail fungus is killed, your nail has to grow back. And it takes a while for it to grow back healthy. But as long as you keep the fungus at bay, you know, um, kill the fungus off and let your nail grow naturally, then you'll have pretty toenails. Now, I'm, I normally have good looking toenails. Uh, I'm very proud of that. This is probably the fourth or fifth time in almost 30 years that I've done this. But um, uh, it, it's, you have to be a little bit patient. And so um, if, you, uh, if you're queasy at looking at toenails, and my toenails don't look very bad. I've actually been treating them for a few months already. And I haven't been doing as consistently as I like to. Uh, over the years, I've discovered that I need to do this treatment about once every three or four days uh, to really take good effect. If I used to do it every other day, and it did faster. So every other day helps too. You don't have to do this every single day, though. This is, it's not an everyday thing uh, if you don't want to. If you want to, uh, by all means, it keeps it going better and stronger, your nails growing better and stronger. But uh, I'm going to show a, a video here of my toenails. And you can see here that um, the fungus on my right toe is a little bit uh, into the nail, about a third of the way into the nail. And there's one little uh, uh, vein of, of the fungus that kind of comes up to about here on my nail. And uh, that's been getting less and less over the past few months. So uh, my nails will grow back completely whole and I don't have to have any medications and certainly no side effects. Uh, and, you know, we seem to have forgotten that there are natural uh, cures for things like nail fungus. So let's get right on to that. Here we go. Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. So here's my recipe for defeating toenail fungus. And the main ingredient is very simple, $3.50 jug of distilled white vinegar. Uh, brand does not matter, uh, just good distilled white vinegar that you can get at the store. And what I'll do is I will fill a glass halfway. Uh, that's a tiny bit more than halfway, but fill the glass halfway with, with vinegar. And then I will just get out of the faucet the hottest water I can by simply running the faucet until the hot water comes out. And then I will fill it the rest of the way with water. That's it. Water and vinegar, folks. Nothing bad for your body. 
And of course, we pour the vinegar and water. I use a paint pan because it focuses the water down here in the front edge where my toes are gonna be because, looky there, my toenails are in the mixture of vinegar and water. And I do this for about 20 minutes. Now you see 20 minutes, that's a lot of time. Well, think about the time you're sitting in the morning, maybe drinking your coffee, watching your morning weather or whatever. And you can find 20 minutes throughout your day that you could use that you're gonna be sitting anyway and just soak your toes. So I will continue doing this. And as long as I stay consistent on this, that nail will grow out. And there's a little bit on the other nail here too but that nail will grow out and become whole again and become new. And as long as you keep your nails trimmed, that's an important thing. You do need to keep your nails trimmed and keep them neat looking, keep them clean. Uh, don't uh, let your feet swim in a lot of nasty water. Uh, that's where you get a lot of this stuff. And sometimes I'll, I get into a job that gets me wet feet and I'm stuck with wet feet for a while. And then if I am, I'll just go ahead and get soaking right away as soon as I can uh, to, uh, to <laughs> set back any development of, uh, of, of nail fungus that I might have or anything else. So it's very simple, it's very straightforward. There are no side effects other than healing uh, of your nails and, the, and they, will, they will start growing back naturally and start uh, growing back whole. And uh, it's, it's a wonderful cure for uh, an annoying problem. Sometimes that nail fungus can hurt. And that's normally when I think about, oh, I hadn't done it in a while. I need to get back into that habit. And so uh, just sitting here for a few minutes, letting my toes soak um, and just feel the healing. So anyway, If you uh, found this uh, informational, educational, inspirational, or just entertaining to see some old guy sticking his toes in vinegar water, uh, please subscribe. Uh, we, we talk mostly about gardening. Today is an exception. We talked about life today. Uh, I don't know if I've done any real health videos yet, but uh, this, is, this is something that uh, I've done a few times throughout the past 30 years, and it works beautifully every single time. If I keep it consistent, that nail will be completely whole, completely perfect the way God made it. So um, if, you, if, you, uh, if you like this video, please click the thumbs up and share with your friends who uh, might be suffering. You know, we, we don't talk about nail fungus very much, but uh, you probably have friends that have it if you don't. And so share this video with your friends on your social media pages. Uh, it's, it's a very cheap, cheap cure for nail fungus. And it makes me wonder if maybe... Um, in the old days, people didn't have nail fungus because they remembered these natural remedies and they didn't have to go buy expensive prescriptions to do this. Not that they're really expensive, but uh, I like as few prescriptions as possible. I already take too many as it is. So um, anyway, yeah. So uh, appreciate you stopping by. Appreciate you watching this video. All the subscriptions help grow the channel, all the watches, all the thumbs up, and all the, the shares, especially all the comments. Tell me if you've had this problem or if you've had experience with vinegar. And uh, it does take time. Now, folks, I want to tell you, this, this is the big uh, thing you have to keep in mind. And this is true of the medications as well. Uh, when you're doing the medications, your nails have to grow back naturally. So it takes time for those nails to grow back. It's going to take several months. But as long as you keep them clean and keep the fungus down, uh, they will grow back good. So all that being said, we'll, uh, next video will definitely be out in the garden. Trust me. Um, so uh, I have a towel set out. You saw the towel set out here. I use that to dry my feet real good. And uh, I have the cup set out here. I just pour this water, this vinegar water back in the cup and empty it down the sink. Uh, another thing about vinegar, um, if you have a drain in your house that doesn't get used very much, uh, pour a little vinegar down it and it will keep it clean. So that's what I do. We have a, we have a faucet back yonder that doesn't get used very much. And I, go, I generally go dump it down that, that uh, drain so to keep the drain clean and smelling good. So anyway, bonus uh, tip right there. Uh, vinegar is good for a lot of stuff. 
Uh, last thing, if you pour vinegar, if you pour bleach into your air conditioning system, which is how this whole conversation started in the first place, uh, you really shouldn't pour bleach down your air conditioning system because the uh, the gases off of bleach can leach into and eat the core of the air conditioner unit over time. And so vinegar doesn't have that problem. And it does the same thing. It kills the fungus that's gonna grow in your drain line and it's going to keep your drain line clear without any possible damage to the air conditioning system. So uh, yeah, vinegar is great stuff. If you ever wonder what all vinegar can do, go, go Google it and you're gonna find there's hundreds, I mean hundreds of uses for vinegar and with good reason. Uh, marketing and everything these days has just pushed the uses of vinegar out of our brains, and uh, we need to remember those. So, all right, I have lectured on enough. All those squirrels uh, that I'm chasing down rabbit holes, I'm done. Have a blessed day. So, yes, if I can give them, I'll give you bonus tips, that's for sure. And here's one final bonus tip after the have a blessed day. I know, here we go. When you're getting a paint pan, and I recommend getting a paint pan dedicated to doing this and have it set somewhere where you can use it regularly, always get the metal paint pan with the rolled edge. If you get the plastic paint pan with the roll, with, that doesn't have the rolled edge, when you pour it, it's gonna be a dribbly mess down the side of the pan. This will pour into the cup beautifully. So be sure and get that rolled edge on your pan. It makes a lot of difference. Okay, that's enough rabbit holes. We're done. <laughs> Have a blessed day.